Hello children. In this video, we will learn to estimate area using grid paper. Golu, Bunny and Bhola bought different types of biscuits from the market. Bunny, Bhola, look at my biscuit. It is bigger than your biscuit. Golu said to Bunny and Bhola. No. My biscuit is bigger than the two of you. Bunny told Golu. Friends, we can immediately find out whose biscuits are the biggest using grid paper, said Bhola. Bunny and Golu could not understand anything. Then Bhola made such equal sized squares on a paper. A paper made of equal sized squares like these is called a grid paper, said Bhola. But Bhola, how can we use this to find out the biggest biscuits? Golu asked Bhola. Bhola made the outlines of those three biscuits with a pencil on the grid paper. Bunny. Can you tell me how many squares are there in the shape of your biscuit? Bhola asked Bunny. Bunny quickly counted the number of squares and said, 16 squares. And Golu, tell me how many squares are there in the shape of your biscuit? Bhola asked Golu. Hmm, uh, 15 squares, said Golu. And can you both tell me how many squares are in the shape of my biscuit? Bhola asked Bunny and Golu. 24 squares? 24 squares? Said Bunny and Golu shocked. Absolutely right. And do you know that the area created inside the boundary of any shape is known as the area of that shape. So, we can say that the area of my biscuit is larger than the area of both your biscuits. Or, my biscuit is bigger than both of your biscuits. Bhola explained to Golu and Bunny. This is such an interesting thing you have taught us, Bhola. Let us all share our biscuits and eat them. Bunny said to Bhola. The three friends shared their biscuits and ate them with great pleasure. Children, in this video, we learned to estimate area using grid paper. In the next video, we will learn more about it through some interesting examples.